Turkey will go to polls on Sunday. A presidential election runoff between incumbent President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his political rival Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu will decide the path the country's domestic and foreign policy will take. But one question that is on everyone's mind is will Erdogan make a comeback? To give you a larger picture, in the first round of elections held on the 14th of May, President Erdogan had an edge. He secured the maximum number of votes, falling marginally short of over 50% majority needed to win the elections. This led to the runoff for presidential elections. Erdogan's alliance secured a parliamentary majority. He has now said a vote for him would amount to voting for stability. Erdogan has also received backing from the candidate who secured the third place in the thir first round. Bay Kemal, sen ne yapacaksın? Bir defa parlamentoya sırtını dayamadıktan sonra yapabileceğin bir şey var mı? Yok. Yasama organı neresi? Parlamento. E parlamentoda 323 kimde? Cumhur İttifakı'nda. E Erdogan has been campaigning on policies, including a stronger stance against terrorist groups, sending Syrian refugees back to their homeland and continuing with his unorthodox economic policies, involving keeping interest rates low despite hyperinflation. It now seems that Erdogan, who has been leading Turkey for 20 years now, is positioned well to win. Remember, while the pollsters had earlier indicated massive support for Kilic Roglu in the first round, it was Erdogan who took the lead, despite the economic crisis facing the country. Experts say it was due to unexpected surge in nationalist support at the ballot box. Erdogan has been portraying his challenger as colluding with the outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party after Kılıç Duroglu had received backing from the country's pro-Kurdish party. While Kılıç Duroglu has been campaigning to undo Erdogan's authoritarian tilt, he underlined the country's economic troubles, with the lira hitting a record low of 20 against the dollar. He has vowed to return to the orthodox economic policy, restore independence of the central bank, and to dismantle executive presidency in favor of the previous parliamentary system. He also aims to improve relations with the Western allies, including the United States. But recently, Kilic Roglu has sharpened his anti-immigrant stance. He aligned with the far-right Victory Party leader, Umit Ozdag, and promised departure of immigrants. It is expected that this move from his traditional voter base away from him now, will Kilic Roglu's recent sharpening of the nationalist tendencies garner more support or will Erdogan retain his presidency? Now for the latest updates, we are being joined live by our guest Dr. Ahmad Shaidov, who is a foreign relations expert and a political analyst. Thank you for being with us, Dr. Now, reports are saying that the enthusiasm has dipped between the elections and the runoff. What kind of an impact could this have on the outcome of the results? Uh, yes, thank you for having me in your program. Greetings from uh, Turkey, Istanbul. Uh, tomorrow is the presidential election in Turkey, and uh, this is the second round, and uh, will take place tomorrow. It is indeed a very uh, cr crucial uh, decisive elections since uh, none of the candidates could uh, get the 50% uh, uh, of voices in the election uh, day on uh, May 14. The second round uh, will be held uh, on May 28 tomorrow. And today two candidates are already competing. Uh, this is the uh, current president of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, and the main Opposition leader uh, Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu, and uh, these are uh, very tense and dynamic elections in the uh, latest history of Turkey because uh, both candidates are very strong and Turkish citizens show very uh, great and um, 
uh, huge activity in these elections. Uh, the chances of the uh, candidates are also approximately equal uh, because um, a an, an, an nationalist candidate, Sinan Ogan, who took the third place on uh, May 14, also declared that he will uh, support Recep Tayyip Erdogan in uh, tomorrow's elections. And this fact increases Erdogan's chances in tomorrow's election. But however, the number of parties uh, supporting Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu has also increased uh, since uh, the first round. And two candidates with different political views are uh, competing uh, tomorrow. Uh, and it is uh, very difficult to say who will uh, win uh, in tomorrow, tomorrow's election. But however, elections in Turkey are not only uh, an issue of uh, Turkish citizens only. Today, uh, the whole world is uh, observing and thinking about the uh, results and about who will be the next president of the Republic of Turkey. But uh, in the background of these elections, if we look at the uh, uh, powers who support these two candidates, especially uh, Arab Muslim countries and Turkish mm -hmm. states, uh, wish Recep Tayyip Erdogan to win in these elections because uh, uh, Erdogan's pro-Muslim and pro-Turkish policy uh, satisfies uh, these uh, countries. But however, the United States of America, Europe countries, Western countries have uh, united their efforts uh, towards the victory of the main opposition uh, leader Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu. Uh, but uh, what about the ordinary citizens? Uh, the citizens of Turkey are especially interested in um, solving their own uh, economic and social problems right. because Turkey uh, has been experiencing very strong economic problems in uh, recent months, especially after the right. earthquake in February, economic difficulties are experienced right. in Turkey. And the Turkish lira is uh, falling yeah. to its max level today. And citizens want to vote for a candidate who can solve Absolutely. this problem. And on the other hand, uh, Turkey's biggest problem is the fight against terrorism. You know, there are a number of uh, terrorist organizations that make uh, territorial claims against Turkey today and uh, effectively fighting uh, against them and protecting them. Uh, Turkey's state borders is the most uh, urgent and actual issue today. And Recep Tayyip Erdogan is the president who has achieved uh, very significant successes in the fight against terrorism. And among uh, other things, he is the leader who laid the foundations of the uh, state policy of unity with the other Turkish states. But however, Erdogan's uh, policy, especially foreign policy, does not satisfy uh, the United States of America and Western countries because today Turkey, uh, Turkey's relations, especially uh, with America and Europe are not good. And Erdogan's uh, very independent uh, policy and good relations with Russia worry the West uh, right. today. And in right. this regard, uh, Western countries want Erdogan to leave yeah. and a candidate who will pursue a, yeah. a, a softer policy uh, to become a president. And this is Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu, of course. However, uh, Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu's chance of right. winning... Yeah. Right. Doctor, as you were mentioning there, I mean, this uh, election, this runoff will decide the, the path of the country's both domestic and foreign policy. Erdogan received just short of the 50% majority that he needed, but his party does have the majority in parliament. Do you think that he will be in power going into a third decade, considering those domestic issues being faced in Turkey, such as you mentioned the sky-high inflation and the depreciating value of the lira? Of course, if uh, to predict the uh, results of the tomorrow's elections, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, I think that Recep Tayyip Erdogan will win because on uh, first round, on May 14, uh, the majority uh, in the parliament of the Turkey belongs to uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan's party. So Recep Tayyip Erdogan already won uh, on May 14 elections and get uh, the majority in the parliament. Uh, it shows the, um, uh, how to say, the people of the Turkey also 
uh, will vote for Erdogan in the uh, second round. Uh, but anyway, these social and economic difficulties problems in Turkey also impact to uh, the results of uh, these elections on tomorrow. That's why I think that the current um, a percentage are uh, approximately uh, the equal between Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu. Uh, or anyway, um, uh, I think that uh, tomorrow's elections uh, are very critical, and we may face uh, surprise or results as well. Mm, absolutely, Doctor. Thank you very much for being with us on this broadcast, and we will, of course, be seeing what happens in Turkey tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.